Hey everyone, Will here with uh, Flea Market Finds. Uh, we just covered uh, the pins and now on to the knives. Uh, first up here is a uh, nice chef knife. Uh, quality chef knife sell well. Just sold an old one for uh, $30. Um, haven't looked this one up yet, but it looks like it's good quality. Looks a lot like uh, a Henkel, but it's uh, Sabatier. 50 cents, good shape. Here's a, uh, um, what is it, Cutco. Uh, I guess that's a bread knife, 50 cents. And this one's another good one, Germany. And I'm not sure what that hallmark is, but 50 cents a piece. Little glass uh, dog. Was that a uh, Boston? Uh, is that a Boston Bulldog? Uh, Boston Terrier? I don't know. Uh, two bucks. Take a look at this. Open your pet irradiated, irradiated sunshine D milk with his handy pet opener. Irradiated milk. Yeah. Um, I guess, uh, so that, uh, when was that? Around the early 1900s? Neat little piece there. Just, uh, pop the, uh, lid off the milk, uh, bottle. Uh, little card charm. Uh, bought it because it's still in the original package. That was $2. Oh, a, a couple of, uh, butterfly knives. Uh, I paid 12 for these, but, uh, these will probably stay in my own collection. Neat little matching set. Um, got some good quality to them. They're not junk. Um, it's a neat piece. It's metal. Uh, gold uh, gilt. Needs a little cleaning. Uh, but, okay, and believe it or not, I paid... $65 for this. It may be a collection plate. Um, I don't know. But the reason I spent $65 on this was, let's see if I can find it for you. It's hard to see. Oh, there it is. Um, I probably got it upside down. I think I do. That says Tiffany Studios, New York, 1708. Uh, this plate is worth about $220. Um, like I said, needs a little bit of cleaning. I'm trying, going to try not to overdo it, but uh, it could stand a little bit of cleaning, and I think I could get 200 out of that. Found two other examples that sold for two and a quarter, so. Uh, I think 200 is uh, very possible with this. Uh, Gilbert World Beater um, uh, instructions. Uh, Gilbert make the erector set. Um, paid two dollars for this and two dollars for the Washington flower. Nice vintage uh, booklet. Uh, Canon got some rust on it, but kind of makes it. Uh, he was three dollars, made in USA. Uh, don't see out very often. A uh, Lennox Swan, two bucks. That's about a fifteen dollar piece. Like the uh, figural girl teapot. Um, I've done really well with figural teapots. Now she does have some damage. Guy had three dollars on. He said, "Yeah, she's got a couple chips on her spout." I said, "Well, she." She's lost the whole spout at one time. He's like, well, give me a dollar. So I did. Uh, just a number on the bottom. I have to look that up, but uh, she's really well done, like I said. Um, still should make some really good money on her, uh, even with the damage. Head vase uh, always does well. And this one's in mint condition. Well, I wouldn't say much. She's got a little bit of crazing up here. Uh, but no chips, no cracks, 
and uh, still has the earrings and uh, necklace made by Lee Wards. Uh, she was uh, 10. Uh, got a McCormick teapot uh, for six dollars. Now if you notice the uh, insides chipped, got a hairline crack there. Um, but the reason I bought this was the uh, diffuser, uh, which is this part, is still in really good shape. And that normally is broken and the lid is still in good shape and that's normally broken and chipped too. Um, so I'm actually going to sell the lid separate, the diffuser separate, and uh, should make out okay with that. There's a lot of people with uh, McCormick uh, coffee pots, teapots, that uh, need those pieces. So uh, that'll help them out and uh, should, uh, you know, might be able to get 2020, who knows? I uh, got another Brontosaurus uh, glass. Take a look at that. I just sold a set of five of these for $75. Um, this one's not in quite in as good a shape. It might clean up, uh, but I paid a dollar for that, and uh, that's at least 10, maybe 15. Uh, Pelican cooler. I just. Uh, this thing is in such really good shape. Hardly any scratches or anything on it. Just top-notch condition for as old as it is. Uh, paid 15 for it, but uh, that could be a $50 uh, cooler right there. Canister set. Uh, paid $5 for the four canisters. And uh, canisters, vintage canisters, something I've had good luck with too uh, recently. Got a little bit of wear on uh, the lid there, but uh, overall, pretty good shape. Uh, that might be a $30, $40 set right there. Uh, some more Goofus glass. Uh, they had five on it. I got it for three. No chips, but uh, the common problem with Goofus glass is the uh, paint wear. Um, you can see it's wearing off. Um, so we'll have to see. Uh, some pieces do really good for me, other pieces not too good. Um, <coughs> that's a nice big piece, so uh, we'll see. Love the spice rack. Um, so often you see these things and uh, they're not complete or the, the paint's completely worn off, but that's a really good uh, spice rack. Ready to go. Um, really good condition uh, I paid uh, $12 for that <coughs> and that should bring I think I haven't looked it up but that should bring an easy $40 I think probably more a pair of uh, Czechoslovakia uh, woodpeckers this is Aunt Irene 1998 and this one is uh, same thing, but uh, Czechoslovakia. I paid uh, what I paid six dollars a piece for those. Might have overpaid, but uh, I like them. I, I guess I have a thing for wall pockets. I don't know. Neat uh, picture here, two bucks. Pair of uh, brass uh, candlestick holders, uh, fifty cents a piece. Uh, it's more than uh, scrap value. Um, the scrap value of the brass is uh, more than that. A uh, pair of noisemakers, uh, vintage noisemakers, three dollars for the pair. A uh, pair of uh, 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 stangle uh, pottery. Some stangle does good, other stangle doesn't. Paid eight dollars for that. Um, Might have overpaid. This is a really good piece. Uh, paid uh, forty dollars for this, but it says uh, McKinley and Roosevelt. <coughs> Just a really good piece, and uh, I trust it. 
a uh, a dealer friend of mine on this, and he said he looked it up and said it was going for eighty dollars. He'd sell it to me for forty, because he knows I resell. So he's treated me good in the past. I took his word for it, and I uh, gave him forty. Uh, it's in really good shape. No chips, cracks, anything. Uh, so hopefully he's right, and that is a eighty dollar piece. Maybe it'll bring a little more. <coughs> Uh, something in the air out here today. Uh, another wall pocket, two bucks. This one looks a lot like uh, McCoy to me. I uh, got a pair of them. They were two dollars a piece. Stack of patches, love finding patches. Uh, that was ten dollars for the entire pack. Uh, it's a bunch of uh, mostly EMS and uh, fire rescue. Uh, this could be a real sleeper here. Here's a Bud Man uh, can can insulators. Still in the original pack. I'm gonna leave them in the the original pack. Uh, I've been looking around. I cannot find uh, these things for sale anywhere. You know, just find out what they brought. So I got those, and I got a pack that's been opened, uh, and they were a dollar a pack. Uh, so I'll probably sell them individually and sell them by the pack I need to come up with a price I mean who knows if these things are rare that could be a $50 pack right there uh, but we'll have to see um, another big expense is the uh, I got 130 two albums full of uh, postcards uh, lots of nice ones Love that Easter card there. Uh, lots of holiday ones in here. Uh, here's Christmas and uh, um, souvenir cards. Um, it's Mount Vernon. Um, birthday greetings. Just uh, it's here's a Thanksgiving card. Um, just a little bit of everything, took a chance on it, but it was enough of the uh, uh, holiday cards in here um, that I took a chance. And uh, we'll put them, in, put them in different groups and uh, get them on eBay this week and uh, see how they go. Um, but uh, I don't think I'm going to lose any money, but uh, we'll see. Um, see how that goes. Got a good deal on a fishing rod and reel. Uh, the rod isn't much, but the reel is a uh, pen uh, with the red uh, the red sides. Always a uh, good quality reel. Uh, Five dollars for a rod and reel. I'll take the uh, the reel off of that, clean it up, uh, just give it a little cleaning, and sell the reel separately. Uh, this piece, I do not know what this thing is. I'm guessing it's some kind of press, maybe a uh, a uh, lime, lemon, lime, something. You put like half a half of one in there, then press down, and the juice comes out. I don't know. But that was uh, paid five for that. Old cigar boxes have done really well for me. I like the uh, artwork on the inside there. Uh, that was five bucks. Uh, fishing creel. Uh, even though this is just a decorative one, uh, what really wasn't meant to be used out in the field, uh, paid uh, three dollars for that, and I'll still get about twenty-five, thirty for it. I love the uh, skis, water skis, marked Pincraft Spray King, and uh, went to a community sale out by the water. These were. Uh, at one of those houses and got that pair of them for ten dollars um, love going to uh, yard sales uh, uh, by houses by the water um, they have some really good stuff uh, that's where I got the uh, fishing rod and reel too um, you know it seems like uh, people with money and when it comes time to sell their stuff, uh, they're not necessarily looking to get top dollar for it. They just want to get rid of it. 
um, for the most part. Uh, so that could be a real sleeper there. Uh, I'll have to do a little search and I'll find a box to fit them in, but uh, I might put a really high price on these. Uh, they look so good. Um, uh, that might be a $300 pair of skis. Uh, we'll see. And last thing of the day is a love this bike is a uh, Barracuda GT when I first walked up to it I was thinking please be a Schwinn please be a Schwinn uh, sure looks like a Schwinn in a lot of ways you got the shifter it, well first of all what makes it good it's a boys bike you got the shifter up here on the top uh, the top bar um, even though the shifter is missing a piece of the plastic air there, um, it's a great bike. Uh, it's got the uh, internal uh, internal gears in the hub. Uh, love the look. Needs a little bit of cleaning. Uh, this is going to be going on eBay, and uh, I think this would make a nice little series. You know, start out with I'll go over with. Uh, start out cleaning it up listen to it, then I'll do a video about listing it on eBay uh, then uh, packing it up and uh, shipping it off because uh, there's some little uh, tips and hints in there <coughs> that uh, um, would be good for the average person to know uh, because uh, you can make good money selling bicycles uh, and it's really not that hard uh, once you do it a couple times. Um, you know, when it comes to shipping it, we'll take the handlebars off. The front wheel probably. Um, the pedals off. And uh, that'll probably do it. Uh, so, um, stay tuned. Uh, that'll be a mini-series in the making there. Uh, so there we go. Um, Ran pretty long. I probably should have made this into a three-parter. Uh, but it's just a two-parter this week. Uh, lots of good stuff. Keep an eye on the eBay store, Terminal 99, uh, where this will, most of it will end up. And uh, until next time, this is Will the Yard Sales Survivalist. And uh, we'll talk again soon.